you go. I was just straightening it out. It's happening now. All right. We're here with Super Mario 64. That's us. This is the Gentleman's Club. You're here for episode three. Back at it again. With them white vans. With them white vans. Actually, with them cowboy boots. For this episode, I lost my beat. But Howard lent me this, and he says it's nicotine, but it tastes a little funny. It's actually crack. Well, that's that's not nicotine. Or heroin. I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God. Crack jokes. Not a great opener, but we're here. Our uh, David. Marvel or DC? Oh shit, dude. You know what? I'm gonna go really out there on the limb, and I'm gonna upset some people. I don't fuck with these superheroes very much. But I okay. will have to go Marvel for uh, Spider-Man. Nice. My favorite as a kid. Spider-Man's a shit. I don't know why they made him fucking 14 now. That was oh, a little yeah. upsetting. I went and saw that one where he's like going to his homecoming in high school. I, I, my my memory, true, right? he was college student, always. No, no, he was in high school at first. What? Yes. He worked at a lab. Yeah, but he was like an intern or something. Oh, he went to college eventually, right? I think the first Spider-Man right He was like, like high school Maguire. senior year, he gets bit. I think he was senior year, probably. Yeah. That would make sense to yeah, me. Yeah, I think he was senior year, yeah. It's right. been a long time since I read the comics. But he was I'm in sure high school for sure. Multiple universes. Yeah. No, that's bullshit that they made him like 14. But yeah, not 14, yeah. And his, his arch nemesis is the dad who's driving him. But I'm not talking about the movie. movies or anything. I'm talking about in general. Like, the people, like superheroes, like the actual so, heroes. So, I think... Uh, yeah, Superman's on DC, right? Batman's on DC. I think Batman's a dick. He's kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick. Superman's way overpowered. Like, they weren't planning to yeah, have no. 500 other superheroes when they had Superman around. <laughs> so I think that's kind of the problem with him. Is like, he's just, he's like... They have to dumb him down a little bit. They had to dumb him down. And he has, he has a weakness. It just comes from a planet that no one has access to. They got blown up. It doesn't exist. So that's pretty much like no weaknesses. Unless you're like super crack nerd, like um, Lex Luthor, and you the, make it the, the Krypton Palace or whatever from like Superman three. Dude, way Fuck back, Superman. way back. Old, I old didn't even watch. Movies. I never watched any of the old ones. I watched a couple of those old ones. They're fire. They're really? Watching. They're good. Yeah, a couple of them. Not all of them are amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then also the the actress who plays the uh, the like love interest is not that attractive. <laughs> Not worth giving up your powers for it. Not worth flying around uh, the earth backwards to turn back time for us. Yeah, yeah, that does happen. Yes. Worth like saving from like a bus going off a cliff. Isn't yes. that crazy though? You can fly so fast that you go back in time. I guess that's how it works. That's what you do. Physics. But you know what? That's what kills me about the superhero movies now is uh, they'll be like walking on the outside of an airplane up to the cockpit, and it's like that's just not. No, like their toes aren't fucking gripping anything. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> That's so stupid to me, and it just bothers me to see like they just brutally abuse physics. <laughs> the toes aren't gripping on the, the boots on the boots. Are, they're not magnetic boots. They're just regular boots. Yeah, they're <laughs> he's just walking across an airplane. It's not all right. <laughs> that is true. No, okay. Look, the movies are different. The movies are owned by companies, and they're just trying to make right. money and try. They suck. Talk about comics and they, they, they make crazy, crazy money. They do, and they're still pretty good. I like them. I like Everyone them. watches them. I'm I'm always surprised when a new like Avengers movie came out. And how many people always have so much people. It does kind of so many people just compared to what it's supposed to do. But it's still good. It's not as cool as Super Mario sixty four. No, nothing is. Can't Seven. beat that. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. This is the second take. So last time I jacked off Mario, and I'm trying to do it again. He's hoping that's like the area for it. This is how you get kicked off YouTube real fast. No, dude. You jerk off it. Mario. Nintendo's gonna hit us with cease and desist. No. If Nintendo pays attention to us, they better pay us. And, uh, I'm Nintendo kidding. Nintendo. Wii's. Just give me like a free Switch or something. This free Switch. That would be nice. The Switch is. We just turn into a Nintendo advertisement. <laughs> we'll literally jerk off Mario. Oh my god. Alright. Well, mine is Marvel, clearly. Alright, so we're far enough in this video where all the narcs left. So it's just you guys now. You and us. We're cool. You guys are cool. <laughs> you can start getting into the real shit now. Yeah, narcs are gone. Narcs are gone. Peace out, narcs. Peace. <laughs> Good chilling with you. Oh my god. 
So, what what dirty secrets about the Luna do we have? Um, what, can we, what can we give the people here who pay attention? Made it this far? Uh, what do you want to tell them first? Music video is almost done? Oh, it is done? We're on like our fourth fourth round of editing. <coughs> That's very, uh, it's filmed, basically. <coughs> all the film has been captured. <coughs> uh, we're just going through and make sure it all uh, looks good as a final product. And it's for it's for Ethos too. It's Ethos, which is one of our uh, one of our favorites, and it's one of the most watched on YouTube. So we're kind of trying to give you, give you guys what you, what you've been watching here. And uh, you might have noticed all of the music's off all the platforms. That's because uh, we're going to re-release, and uh, basically we're going to have to reorganize the way everything works. We'll have to structure it as like an original demo and as a, as an album drop. And there's new riffs and there's new rhythms and. What not? So it should be. It should be pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's basically, the six songs that are already out, and then have new parts, and the uh, drums are gonna be completely different, bass different, some new riffs like you were saying, and, and then um, seven new ones. Yeah, seven new ones. And then it's been over a year since all the Luna's had a uh, release. You and decided to pick them or was them? Mm -hmm. How long ago was Victim? That was their last release, right? We didn't release it. We haven't yet. technically released it, that's right. We've only played it live. Wow. And, um, yeah, we're going to release something soon. We promise that for sure. And it's going to be a whole album, too. So. We can promise you guys, if we're not already uh, releasing material, by the end of the year, January 1st, we'll start. And we'll start uh, showing you guys what, what we put together. Uh, we just really want to make sure we have a nice, complete launch for this and that everything's already... All the way put together for you folks. Yes. No, no, uh, half assed. And we're gonna, there's gonna be a uh, guitar pro for it, everything. Guitar we're gonna base. have the tabs available. All the music should be downloadable. We're gonna have the online shop set up, which will be a big deal. Yeah, merch is gonna be a thing. We've had a lot of people ask about the merch available. Uh, the merch that we've had is shows. And uh, so we'll, we'll have some uh, reprints of the classic shirts, and then of course we're gonna have we have a lot of uh, designs already made for special feature clothing, just things like jerseys. Live next to a train station here, <laughs> you hear horns and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, we have some like hockey jerseys. We're talking about we have a baseball jersey design, uh, just some some kind of cool sportsy kind of shit like that. Uh, hoodies set up. Uh, we're looking. We actually have uh, lighters uh, designed out already, so we have we have a lot of uh, strap-ons. Just strap-ons, expensive too, high-end ones, <laughs> crystal and everything. So keep an eye out for those. Yes. <clears throat> Any size, custom engravings, radius, girth. Yeah, we we do we do limit the girth to three inches across. Basically, the fattest you can get is this. This is a prototype. Oh no. I think I broke. I didn't break the window. I was lying. You see this? See anything more than that, and you're just being a spoiled brat. Yeah, you're just being ridiculous. Yep. Appreciate, respect the ladies and the and the men that take giant fetuses up their ass holes. You know, when you came over with that, Howard, I had no idea what you're planning on doing with it, but now I see why you wanted to bring that over. Bring what over? The, the giant horn. I didn't bring that over. Wait, you didn't bring that over? Well, I mean, I pulled... How long has that been here? See, David, you don't want to know these things. These are secrets. It's a ghost. It's a ghost of a water buffalo. Actually. Actually, though. That was dumb. I'm sorry, I fucking derailed the whole thing with that. No, it's not. Actually, I pulled it out of my ass, right? Pull it out of your ass. That does not fit. No way. And then I. Uh, no way. I. Uh, engraved the little base thing. The wooden part out of wood, with my dick. Very <laughs> impressive. I commend you. Oh Nothing my wrong god. With that. Yes, I stand by the. I'm not. Putting, He's not backing down. He doesn't no. fuck around out here. Yeah, so we have tracks coming in. We have the drums are what halfway done for the album. Yeah, it's halfway done basically. I mean, it just needs to be tweaked and shit. Yeah, it's not gonna. We got you guys. We got you guys. Don't even worry. 
I'm itching to get on the bass and uh, throw down my parts for the album. We've done a lot of the uh, just the tone stuff and just messing around trying to get the right Excellent sounds. Excellent play live. Yeah, to actually have the album sound live is going to be a big deal too. When the coronavirus is gone. When the coronavirus is eradicated due to, due to people... Uh, it's not even it being gone, it's more it... Um, I don't know. I like a vaccine comes out or something and it's just not there. Something to where we can return to normal. Once we can return to normal, we promise we'll plan shows. And if it takes too long, we'll start doing underground shows totally illegally. We'll, we'll dig tunnels. Just kidding. We'll dig tunnels and make underground, like, Underground shows. shows. Like, straight, like... Literally underground. Yeah, actual underground shows. You won't know where it's at until the day of. We'll, we'll just have a tunnel site. Just, we'll send out messenger pigeons. Messenger pigeons can't track those. <laughs> Fucking, there's in the sky and gone. But the pigeons actually work for the government, so they do know. Ooh, bad one. Pigeons aren't real. Birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. They're fucking. Hashtag 2020. They're the alien devices. Aliens, fuck. Hell yeah. We don't fuck with aliens out here. David, you need to play No Man's Sky. Oh, I've heard the story about that. About how the the guy was like weighing it over his head, and he had to make like a professional Hell game. Updates. And yeah, so it was a huge flop, and it sucked. But instead of just giving up and making something new. He just kept trying to fix all of the errors yeah. with updates, and it's been years now. That's the thing. But and it's just at the point where it's like where he promised. It just exactly. got there. Yep. Yeah, I, I got it like three days ago. Pretty good. It's amazing, honestly. Mm. I'll, I'll have to check, check it and out. And we can play at the same time. My buddy Evo just got it too. He's so excited today. Play. I think the least gets to do it's getting it. We can all find planets. <sighs> we can all find planets. Can we get in a serve with these guys? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't on, know how big it can on get. On the next podcast, we'll see if we can give out information so you guys can play games. Yeah, you can find us on our planets, and we're going to make I'm on Steam. a bunch of... I'm on Steam. Oh, yeah. You don't play Dota. I suck. I don't play Dota, so I don't know what he that is. He only plays games from the last fucking decade. Dota is pretty old. <laughs> Dota is fucking ancient. I like people playing World of Warcraft. It pretty much is. I think it is like a spin-off of World of Warcraft, even though I never played that. Yeah, no, it's, it, it is really... I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah, that game's really old too. I'm actually like I started playing it like the the first year, like the year after like they came out. So when I go to play online matches, it'll be like first match. Like this is the year the came out. Um, it pretty much looks the same. There's a lot of changes to like what items do, like the actual like. Yeah, like they change the game works, stuff. Basically. Right, yeah, the mechanics of what things do. They have but the debuff stuff. It looks stuff. the same, though. But the, yeah, the mechanics are the same. It's kind of like chess. Like, you can kind of um, adjust the way things happen, but they're all the same pieces. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, shit. Yeah, Dota basically. sucks because you have to already know what you want to do before you play. Is it turn based? No. It's real time. And you're fighting people? Yeah, and then you have like minions who go and they fight each other. So if you're in within a certain area of the minions, you're getting XP for them killing each other. And then you can, if you last hit somebody, you get. So points. it's like an MMO. So it's the same thing. It's it's like a team thing though. It's there's only ten players, five on each side. Oh. So there's usually two. But it's like a competition thing. It's exactly. It's a heavy competition. It looks just like League of Legends. League of Legends, I'm ninety percent sure, ripped it off. Yeah, because League of Legends is newer, for sure. And it's free, I think. Yeah, it's, it's free, I think, too. But I've seen people play League of Legends, and I go, oh, shit, you play Dota? And they go, what the fuck is that? And yeah. I go, shit, you're the nerd playing League of Legends. You fucking have I don't know how they all know what Dota is. I know what it is, at least. I just don't play it. i never even seen it, honestly. I'm sure I've seen it. I just don't know what it is. It's kind of like a real-time chess kind of thing. And you have to kind of see what enemies are going up against, and... A lot of it's like you have to know what their powers are, what combats it. These multiplayer games are hard for me sometimes. It's not like MMO. Like right now, like the big thing is that uh, is it the MMO, uh, uh, God, was it Victory Royale or whatever, the Battle Royale. Oh, yeah, Battle Royale. That's Royales. like the most popular thing right now. Yeah, like now. Fortnite and shit. Fortnite for sure. The Among Us is really popular right now. Yeah, a lot of people are playing that. There's so many memes of it. Oh, yeah. A bunch of my buddies are playing it, but their girlfriends are also playing it with them because they, they would rather have their girlfriends in there than, like, a stranger. And I'm just <laughs> like, I don't want to play with all your girlfriends. 
Um, okay, so is it the same amount of people, no matter what, they just pull people from servers? I think so, and it's 10, but the thing is, most people, uh, this is text-based. The game that you download on your phone is text-based, so most people will go into Discord and just follow the rules mm -hmm. and mute themselves when the game turns on. So yeah. then when it goes to the thing, you unmute and you talk. So um, a lot of people will follow the rules, but if you play online, then it's like sucks because sometimes people are in Discord, then you don't know them. Yeah. So you're the stranger, so you're trying to text where they're all talking about bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that makes it tough. Well, shit. That game sounds. It's pretty. It's pretty intense. It's fun. It's just yeah. like one of those things you have to get good at. And you have to memorize maps and bullshit. It's just yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Just more time. It's all games are though. So <sighs> no true. man's sky has been for me just time. Dude, you just fly the planets. That's all you're doing, but it's cool harvest because it's all different. Yeah, the harvest is like Minecraft, but you're flying to planets. That's pretty tight. Is it generate the planet, the generate yeah. like universes, or does it like have pre made universes? Generates. There's like 80 quintillion planets or something, or trillion, I think. 80 trillion. Have you seen like Star Citizen? Yes, it's like that. Yeah, but I was way into that, but it never, never panned out. Yeah, not yet. I mean, it's kind of, it's getting better, but still not out yet. It's um, basically No Man's Sky is like a more animated version of that because Star Citizen looks more realistic, and right? More like, and No Man's Sky is more cartoonish and. Really. Yeah, but it's I'll cool. Check though. it out. I like it. Also, YouTube it. Like I said, we can play at the same time. It'd be amazing. But I mean, it's uh. Something else, I don't know. No Man's Sky. I'm not waiting for Cyberpunk to come out. And I'm what? like, not have a life at all. Cyberpunk? You never heard of that game yet? The Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk 2077. Never heard Dude. of that. Never heard of that. Okay, look. Cyberpunk, basically. Do you know what The Witcher 3 is? Yeah. It's the same people that made that. Have you played it? No. It's amazing. But you should play that game also. But um, the same people that made that game is making this game. Okay. And this game is like a, it's an RPG game. And uh, it's based in like a, I mean 27 cents a year, so it's like more okay. futuristic and shit. And it's and a thing called the game? Cyberpunk 27 cents. Do you hack shit? You don't, it's a, you can hack shit. It's like, it's an RPG that you can do a lot. It's like Skyrim or something, but imagine like a fucking futuristic Fallout version, but without the nukes. Hmm. It's Fallout without the nukes. Imagine Fallout that. without the nukes. Basically. I can dig my teeth in that. I really, I hope Fallout kind of spreads into like the different stuff. You know, what was it, the Outer Worlds too? The Outer yeah. Worlds was very Fallout-esque. Um, fucking Starfield's coming out. It's a new Bethesda I don't know game. I Starfield either. Bethesda's doing it though? Yes, it's, it's, it's Fallout in space. That's what they even say. Like, that's literally Fallout without the nukes. That's what Starfield is. But I mean, like, uh, Cyberpunk is like not as advanced. Like, do you know how like in Fallout they were pretty, pretty advanced? It was honestly. like nuclear power was and useful was like, and, and prevalent. And they, they had they had AI robots and shit like crazy right. stuff. In Cyberpunk, I think, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be robots, but it's more augmenting your character, like putting things in your eye so you can like zoom in and like you can literally see the physical thing getting put in your eye, and like there's like a, now there's like a scar on your face and shit, and um you can all make augment your limbs so you can punch things and their heads blow off and shit. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. Craziness. And I'm, Sounds pretty wild. My game is in the... I'm ready, man. I'm ready for it. I'm gonna lose my life. That's what I was gonna say. It's like, just how many hours goes into that yeah, shit? It's 100, probably. It's, uh, it's coming out November 18th or something. I was gonna say, Dota, it takes 100 hours to get to the ranked matches. Yeah, see, that's the thing about multiplayer games for me, though, that you have to, like, grind. You have to do a lot. Grinding is the thing for me that, like, like it gets too repetitive and I start, like... <coughs> Like, I've been oh, yeah. playing um, e uh, Elder Scrolls Online, and that's an MMO. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Elder Scrolls. And I really like Elder Scrolls, so that's why yeah. I play it. You like, go through it over and over. And it's like all the it's like um, all the regions in the continent, instead of just Skyrim or just Cyrodiil or whatever. Yeah, you can go everywhere, so yeah. I want to play so I can see everything and do the quest, but since it's an MMO, it's like, it has the MMO things in it. Yeah. That's what kills me. I wish it was just like a full single player game, because the... The way that the uh, the AI walks around and stuff, it's yeah. like, they stand there so new people can come and talk to them and stuff, and it's just like, I just don't like it. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a Do you ever play enough. Dark Souls? I love Dark Souls. Do you remember the it's other players in Dark Souls? 
Yeah, when they come in and invade. They can invade or they can assist. Assist you. You can like um. Yeah, you can like go to a boss door and like go on their little marking on the floor, and then they can come in your world and help you fight the boss or whatever. Or they can clear the level with you or whatever. They just come in and beat the shit out of you. Or they can invade. Yeah, the invading is what every time you basically it basically means you're gonna die. This so. is always some dude just looking to murk people. I killed. I got invaded maybe like 12 times when I played because like you only can get invaded like every you have to be a human too you have to use like a soul right uh yeah yeah I think so yeah yeah, yeah. that's how it works too but um also like it blocks people from invading you every fucking uh I don't know how long like probably like 10 game hours or something like yeah. that or 8 game hours so they can only invade you that many times after one person does it, you have to wait for a while, and it's not going to happen again. But every time, you're basically dead, because those people are fucking dicks. <laughs> Hell good, It's so dude. annoying, dude. It's so hard to get good at that but, game. Yeah, and when I try to invade people, they still kill me most of the time. I can kill them sometimes, but I mean, like, um... You're just trying to be... You're just trying to kill people. That's just like I played that game with nothing on. What's wrong with you? Oh, it was so fast, no one could touch me, dude. I could kill Dark Knights and shit, or Black Knights, or whatever. They yeah, were. yeah, yeah. The big, the I could kill them, nothing on. That's crazy. Yeah, I just, I would just go whap, you whap, brave, whap, dude. whap. No, if because, you, because if I wore any armor, they would smack the shit out of me. But, but if, if you I wore get hit nothing, once, you're dead. Yes, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. If I wore my armor, it's a piece of shit, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so, we just gotta get better at dodging was, with armor. I was so good at dodging with nothing on, though. I, I played the majority of the game. I beat. And you like, actually beat it like that. Yes, nothing oh, on. Just completely. That's naked. good then. It worked. I would just get cooler weapons. And I was no, just getting yeah. weapons. It's just it like, worked. Oh then. shit. Yeah, I would always get naked just because I was like, oh, dude, it does boss battle, you do, shit, I'd you take do off dodge your armor. Well, because if I'm fighting goons, I don't really need the dodge like that, but if yeah. it's a boss, I'd be like, better take off all my shit. That is true, yeah, you need to be able to dodge fast for that. And because otherwise, the boss is just murdering you anyways. For me, it would be like, exactly, yeah. I'm going to lose all my health or all of it except for 10%. I, yeah, I guess that makes sense, for sure. i seen someone do it online, and I was like, that yeah. is clever. And they cleared the whole game like that. Like, yeah. But yeah, makes so much sense. the person that did that, that i seen, he did it. With the little wooden bat, and he did. He was naked, so he didn't have a strong sword. No, I he was, had a I was sword. doing a little better than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was using. And he did the whole bat. game, like even the little guys and all that. Just the whole thing. Zero deaths. Zero deaths. Basically. No, never. Yeah, he did. It was a one-time run, like he went through it. You talking about PewDiePie? I don't know. PewDiePie did it, did he? PewDiePie said zero deaths, but he was edited. Oh, he, yeah. He not even not even has like trying to be sneaky. Like he just was joking, mm -hmm. like zero deaths. Oh yeah, yeah. Like he obviously. But, but there's people that go through it, fucking speed run it without dying. Yeah, which yeah. I think is like doing progressive metal. It's basically, you have to learn the rhythm of it. Every single fucking yeah. person you see. It's the dance of it. You have to go four yeah. or three steps, and like I jumped out from the left. So because you know, like you have to memorize how long your fucking frames are when they swing each time. Like, dude, sometimes like, that game pisses me off. Where people come out at what point? At what point? That, yeah. that was another thing. I would always do was like, okay, I know someone comes out here. If I go to this pillar and then I wait for, it, for him to pass, then I can jump out and kill him. That guy yeah. won't do this. Yeah, like, you have to like strategize because the you, whole time because you got murked the first time you ran through it. And each time you get a little further, but you always have to start off the yeah. same part. That those guys they clearly they're not saying that that was the first time they played it. And they just did it like that. Mm -hmm. They learned how to play that game first and then they did. It. Have you seen the Mario good. speed runs? Speaking of Mario, what's up Mario? What's up Mario? <laughs> Mario, I heard there's somebody on YouTube that calls him that. It's, fun, it's so funny. But, um, what about Mario? Are people speedrunning it? I'm sure. People do like all kinds of frame glitches and stuff. Uh, like they're just abusing the game. I don't know about this game anymore. This game's pretty. I don't know, but yeah, I don't, I've never seen someone do that in 64. But I meant like the old ones, the platformer ones. Like, oh the, yeah, like the, the um, game fucking Game Boy ones. Game Boy ones, yeah, yeah, like that shit. Have you ever had any of those? You ever played the old old Mario's? Yeah, but I never like really beat one. I don't think yeah. I ever beat mine either because I was so young. I was also yeah. dumb at it, but yeah, I just played it to play it. Like, I, do, I, I had Sonic games I never beat. And shit. Sonic, I played a lot of Sonic on the computer. Never. No, actually, I did. I did beat a couple of Sonic games. We should probably do like a bunch of game ones first. Like we can do a Sonic one next. That would be tight. Like, uh, we hmm. should play some some of those old games. We should. We do game. We can have videos of us playing. Yeah. Do you think you can green screen the the video of the like what we're playing yep. while we're playing? Absolutely. Dude, yeah, that's absolutely. It. I could even take. See how we're both on here. I could even take this and then cut us and put our faces on the corners and then have. <laughs> so it's like we're actually yeah. streaming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hell totally, yeah. Totally. Totally doable. 
Yes. Yep. That's what needs to be yep. done. I'm getting, getting better at the editing, folks. Dude, us playing old games we, is where we, it's we at. do it. We can knock out like we a play fuckload. That's like Crash my, Bandicoot. We, on my computer, we'll just get a screen recorder and then we'll do, yep. um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, like an emulator. The emulators, yeah. yeah. We play the old Zelda games. I never played the Zeldas. I would love to fucking open up a Zelda and be confused as fuck. Like, yep. <laughs> just be like, what the fuck? It was just like five minutes each, basically. That would be tight, though. We can just do a series and go through the game. Yeah, it would be really easy to do a and game edit series. the highlights too. It would be super easy. Yeah. What do you guys think about us streaming? You have no choice anyway. We're going to do it. All right, fuck it. We're doing it. But should, we, should we open it's up the because Twitch we know you're going to on YouTube? We can do the full live version on Twitch, right? Okay. And then do the edited highlights on YouTube. On YouTube. Like when we die or when we come across something that we're fighting or funny moments. Right. Happens. Okay. Okay. That's but definitely that, possible. Twitch would be like the full, literally the full thing while we're playing. Do you think we should go full out with like the fancy camera or just <clears> use a phone to record ourselves? For Twitch? For the, for the YouTube too. Uh, can you do it from like the camera? Yeah. And then put it on Twitch? Live? Is that even the thing? I doubt it, right? I don't think that's live anymore. No. You have to get like a good webcam or something. A webcam? Or I was even thinking just prop my phone up. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that wait, can I connect my phone like this though? I don't know. I don't think I could. I don't think I don't my think phone would be connected to Twitch. I think it needs to be a webcam. Yeah. That is a... Well... Wait. What, what if, if we, we do, do this? Screen for it to appear behind <clears> you yeah, what too. if we do this? While we're playing on the computer and just sync them. <clears throat> we could. Sync the audio and then it's just sync it. We could even do like a phone or screen recorder. Do that too? Yeah. yeah. I mean, depending on what we can handle. Because this would be mostly the game. It's all about the game, guys. And then our faces are just not be there for reaction. Just, yeah, just for the watch. So it could be kind of shitty. We could totally do it though. We came up with an idea on podcast. This is how it happens out here. This is how, this is how we do it, dude. Coming up with a gaming channel. From you guys need to um, harass Gabe and uh, Anthony to come out here. To their their tentative date has been set, and it is smack a month before the album comes out, which is really stressful. So we need you guys to go make it more stressful for them. So they can come out here. Or so what the, if you guys can go there and drive them out here? Right. If everyone pitches in, we can all just take an article of uh, uh, furniture. We can make a tent city. We, yeah, exactly. We'll just start passing it off, just person to person, until we get all the shit up there. You know, <laughs> one piece of instrument at a time. That's so terrible. That's horrible. It would not work. We, we are looking at getting just a U-Haul for him. We're going to figure it all out. The whole thing's going to work. It can't not. It'll definitely work. Um, Literally can't go tits up. Some beer is getting to me. Some good beer. That wasn't as... I, I don't have glass. So. No glass. That was kind of weak. Apologize. I'm drinking the Oktoberfest Sam Adams. And you know what? It's pretty good. Cano Bliss is pretty good too. Cano Bliss. Yeah, Cano that was a favor from one of the... Instagram live drunk fest we fucking posted for no reason. That I forgot because we were like drinking too much. <laughs> we were way wasted for that. It was more because we just slammed down a lot at, like in a fast amount. So this is the deal is I asked everyone to do a beer review. I said I had like a six pack of beer. And I brought out like 11 beers and they were all like decently high concentrations of alcohol. For we drank like eight of them maybe. We definitely smashed around eight. I didn't even count. And it was within like 20 minutes? 10 minutes? It was, a, I think, a 40 minute video in total. Really? Yeah, we were aiming at like 5. Oh yeah, we dabbed in shit too. We, 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 do, we were out there. We were <laughs> out there for that video. That video was extremely rough. It's okay then. It we're, happens. We're here today. We're here today. God. Some shit. <laughs> Holy shit. David. Yeah. So. What were you doing when you were five years old? What was I doing? Yep. 
and give me your. What that? What grade would that be? Holy shit! Oh, dude, is that like kindergarten? kindergarten? Yeah, Pre school maybe. Uh, kindergarten. Kindergarten. I went to uh, Linden, California school. You remember the school name? No, um, no, it wasn't. We were talking about what school David went to. We are talking about when I was five. In kindergarten? With kindergarten I remember school. reading a lot of books on my own. And then they were trying to have me read books that were like, like stupid as hell. The mountain is blue. <laughs> the sky is blue. You know, all this shit. And then uh, it was like the baby says, mmm. Shit like that. I was just like, this is straight dumb right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I was reading chapter books and stuff. And so... Uh, yeah, I think I got homeschooled after that for like a year, but then it was really weird because everyone who got homeschooled was like super Bible thumper in, in this small, small farm town that I resided at the time. So, yeah, that was my fucking kindergarten stories, I guess. It was mostly just kind of weird, like... It I'm surprised was, you remember that one from kindergarten. I remember quite a bit. I don't... I don't. Do you remember anything? I don't remember much about my home life, but I remember a little bit about the school because I switched schools a lot when I was growing up. Yeah, so did I, but I mean, goddamn. It was like a portable. Also because later later in life, um, my mom bought property out there. I remember so first grade. Like school. First grade. I remember, I remember it was a little bit of first grade. Yeah, kindergarten. Out. I don't remember anything really about first grade. I mean, I think that's when I got homeschooled, honestly. Or at least part of the year. That's what kids are doing right now. Shit, man. That was back in the day, too. They used to send you paperwork. Like through the mail? Yeah, we had all kinds of weird shit that was for, like, teaching, like, balance beams. And we had, like, like little cubes that were, like, a gram or something like that. So it was, like, you can get used to, like, different weights. A bunch of, bunch of just, like, random shit, dude. That's so it was, it was all for, like, ki kindergarten to 12th grade, like, learning tools. Yeah. So you had to purchase, like, week by week, and it was, like, an education. You had to have all this different bullshit. That's so weird. It's pretty trippy. Honestly, I could see, like, a good argument. Yeah, for, yeah you're good. Um, for, uh, do you want to have a roommate? I had it, too. I could see a good argument for, like, kids go to public school because, like, you have to learn how to deal with regular people. Yeah, that's the thing. That's like the main thing. But I could definitely see solid idea where bringing your kids into the like real life early and like showing them like real shit. Like if you oh, have the opportunity to like homeschool and actually take your kids around the world or something. Oh yeah. That'd probably be more enriching than going to public school. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but for especially for fucking what twelve years. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a long time to go to school, and then also to be a 12th grader who's never been to fucking high school is kind of ridiculous. Oh yeah. So you need to have some idea. Yeah, yeah, not the whole time. Not the whole time, you should be the cool kid who gets to leave. More like, I think it's probably best like around 4th grade or something. Probably somewhere around there. You When you're younger, because in high school... To put them back grade. into school? Like, what do you think, oh, like homeschool until then or homeschool um, after? Homeschool after, but not the whole time. Like, go back for, like, 7th, 8th grade or something. I was always, like, you know, independent study? Have you heard of that before for high school? It's like kids, when they would start fucking up in high school, they would go on independent study. Is that homeschooling, basically? It's like homeschooling for, like, kids who are too old to be homeschooled. It's yeah, like yeah. high school, so it's like, just, you have to pick up, pick up homework, do it, and then turn it back in. Yeah, and okay, at the yeah. end of this, you'll have your fucking diploma. Like, just, you'll be fine. So, um... I think that's pretty good, too, though. It's not a bad idea. Some kids I know, like, there's kids who are just like, I just want to get into my family business. Yeah, exactly. Like, I have no purpose here. So they're like, farm, a lot of kids were doing farm shit. They were just like, I have a family land to take care of. I really don't want to be here. It's like, I did the ag courses. They did, they were like, I did the fucking welding and all this stuff. Like, I got the trade skills out of it. Now I have nothing else. A lot of schools don't have all that shit. Fucking farms, dude. Farms, man. I wouldn't, I don't know how I feel about that. Because, like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, think about my buddy Donovan. His dad has owned RV business forever. Yeah. If he would have, at 16, gone on independent study to work more at the RV shop to learn the skills he could, you know, and now he's making good money working these RVs, he would have been able to have that skill earlier, I guess. 
Yeah, but do you want to work on RVs? That's a great question. Not me. I don't want to work on RVs. Not me. You won't catch me there. No. At least not forever. Like, make that a business. I, there's people who are like that. Honestly, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. Like, RVs aren't the worst thing to get oh, involved no, in. No, no. But it's all, yeah, like you said, getting involved in something forever, you have to love it. Yeah, I'm not working on RVs, though. Basic guys carpentry. But yeah, I understand Brandy. it, though. Like, I would probably work on, like, drift cars or something. I think that would be cool. Drift cars? Isn't that be pretty tight? But it just depends on what you're into, like you said. If you're into RVs, man, work on RVs. That's... And, and the guy who's always like, ugh. As a guy who's always like, van stuff. When I see vans, vans touch me in a certain spot. I mean, I like, I like yeah, I like vans. When sure. I see certain vans, I go, that would be nice to tour in. For like, sure. yeah, like a transit van or oh, something. Oh, yeah, I, I always, when I see a nice van, I go, Yeah, dude, Ooh. I had to drive with the Amazon van. So I felt every day, I was like, dude, this van would be so be so perfect, right? Yeah. Those, it's kind of fun to drive a bigger car. When I rented the yeah, U-Haul, the box truck and stuff, my couches, that was kind of fucking fun to drive. I really enjoy that shit. Yeah. The vans are the same, man. I like them. The Ford ones, they're pretty good. They're kind of expensive, though. Shit. They get, they're like fucking... To get like a 2013 like, used one or something would be like 10 grand still. Really? Something like that. Well, they'll come around. Yeah. Cause they always do. Those are the newer ones, man. That's how life works. Yeah. We can get an old one though. They're not that bad. No, no. We can get a minivan and get better gas mileage. The minivans. The minivans are ridiculous. So we're going the V6 minivan would be mm -hmm. the best. Or I even a four cylinder one. Four cylinder one. I'll get what we can get, you know what I mean? Exactly. And um, Whatever works. Those minivans are what's up. We don't have a lot to bring. We are a 2020 technical band. We can go cabless if we need to. Not technical as in music, even though we kind of are, I guess I would say. But yeah, we try to be in technology. We're tech guys. We use laptops. If our laptop's dead, I'm throwing my guitar in the face. The guitar is worthless without the laptop. Fuck! We we just we pack up, we go home. <laughs> Mid tour, it doesn't matter. If laptop's dead, turn around. Out. Electricity doesn't work. Out. That's everybody though. We have we have the desktop we can bring along as a backup. We have we have other options. No, we would still play. We just use pull the old cell here. phone out with the headphones and for Anthony and then we just go. That's really it though. It's happening no matter what. We're not gonna be those people. Even if he doesn't even have a click. Even if he doesn't have a click, that is true too. We could we could just pull it off no click. But if he has a cell phone, I'd rather him do it. 